Greetings and welcome to another episode of Trippy Food and another installment of Snack Attack. We are once again joined by Janice Yamanaka. Uh, we'll have information for her channel down below. Be sure to check her channel out. Today we're going to try uh, pork rinds. I think we may have done uh, this brand of pork rinds before, which are uh, Southern Recipe Small Batch. I think I think that's the, the brand. I know we've done these before, but uh, this is a new flavor that I found interesting. This is Pasilla Chili Cheese flavored. That sounds really interesting. And these are actual pork rinds, yeah. as opposed to like made of bean, <laughs> yeah. made of bean, right? <laughs> um, so these are actual pork rinds. So we get to rate them on, on how good the, you know, the texture of the actual pork yeah. rind is. Uh, these are fried in sunflower oil, uh, natural smoke flavor added. So it sounds like a lot of cool stuff. You have the um, pasilla chili cheese, uh, sunflower oil, um, natural smoke flavor. They're gluten free, um, but I don't see why they wouldn't be because it's not, I mean, yeah. gluten is from yeah. like grains, right? Uh, or uh, wheat specifically, right? Yeah. And if there's no wheat in there, there's no. Uh, but I think more and more you start to see products that say gluten free, vegan, this free, this free, that, you know, that free and everything. They just specify it even if, if by nature yeah. it's typically not. I guess the exception to that is beer. Because, they, you know, beer doesn't specifically say it's vegan, and most beers are vegan, but, but some are made with, uh, what is it, the uh, Isinglass, which is the from the fish swim bladder. Oh. They use that in the beers, and so it makes it non-vegan. But, um, yeah, let's give it a shot. I don't know, should I open from the bottom? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Remember, if you see anybody else opening it from the bottom, they're copying us. <laughs> Ooh. They smell a little funky. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they smell like um, like old socks. <laughs> Are you getting that? It's just like a weird... It's kind of a little bit. <laughs> yeah, that's a funky smell. Yeah, it's kind of like an old sock smell. Hopefully they don't taste like that. <laughs> but then I really don't have a, a reference point. Yeah. Ooh, they're light and airy. Yeah. Like no, <laughs> they have a nice like crispiness to it. Mm -hmm. The chili's subtle. I guess I'm guessing it's gonna sneak up on us. Yeah. It's a really interesting cheese flavor too. Yeah, cool. It's not like it jumps out at you like tasting like American cheese or anything. I thought it was a type of chili. If only there was some way to find out. <laughs> it kind of falls apart into powder. Yeah. They're not greasy. They're not too hard and crunchy. Yeah. And they're they're, they're right. light and airy. There's a slight. And they got a lot of flavor. A slight heat. Yeah. Just on your edge of your tongue. Well, yeah, there are chilies in there, so. So it's like a smoked uh, smoked chili. Like um, Chipotle, right? Yeah. Yeah, those are good. Yeah, I like these. I don't know if they're crazy good, yeah. but they're good. That'll get a thumbs up for me. Yeah. I don't know how enthusiastic a thumbs up, but it's yeah. still a thumbs up, a thumbs up none, nonetheless. Yeah, they're, they're pretty good. So, um, again, they have like a bunch of... There were some other new ones too, but, you know, this one just caught my eye and I thought I would try this one. So, um, again, the brand, we think, <laughs> is um, Southern Recipe Small Batch. Um, Asia Chili Cheese Flavored Small Batch Pork Rinds. And, uh, yeah, give it a shot. It's pretty good. I think I've had the, the same brand. Mm -hmm. uh, they have a bunch of chili. different... Yeah, they have a bunch of different flavors. Yeah. Um, they're usually pretty good. It, it, in the best of your recollection, they were pretty good. The ones that you had. yeah. So thumbs up. Um, go out and get. Yeah. And they have these at uh, uh, Kroger stores because I know that I've seen these. At, I, I think I got these at Ralph's, which is yeah. our local Kroger store. So uh, should be easy to find. But give it a shot. They're actually pretty good. Uh, again, be sure to check out the Genesis channel. The link is down below. S subscribe. Thumbs up on the videos. Uh, but be careful out there because it's crazy. Please take care of yourselves. Take care of others, and we'll see you soon. 
Thanks for checking out Trippy Food. If you enjoyed watching that video half as much as I did making it, well then I enjoyed it twice as much as you did. And if that's the case, you'll probably like this video right here. And if not, check out this video right here. That one's a little bit different. Either way, leave a comment down below. And be sure to subscribe by clicking on the Trippy Food icon right here. Glad you could make it, and we hope to see you again soon.